Hello book nerds, welcome to Bookshelf Bunny. I'm Kim and this is a review of Insidious Valor by Daniel Monroe. Hey guys, I was gifted this book in exchange for an honest review. This is an advanced reader copy. The release date is September 10th, so it's just a couple days away. If you haven't pre-ordered your copy, pre-order it or just buy one when it releases. This is the third book in a series. These are the first two, Ooh, The Taste Beneath, as well as Diseased Intentions. This is number three. So, our first two books give us a feel for the world that has been created and the situations that our protagonists are facing. The first two books also mainly focus on one location. So, the gist. There is this terrible global war called the Fast War and it basically caused a blackout of technology and support and government has broken down, leaving everyone to fend for themselves. So in The Taste Beneath, we meet our main character, Ryan, a former cook who is helping a community survive in a vineyard in the UK. And he comes across a terrible, terrible enemy. And this particular enemy eats people. Just no other way to say it. <laughs> It's a little more complicated than that. During the fast war, there was a formula created that it basically creates mad cow disease in people. And the only way to uh, slow the progression is to, of course, consume human meat. But the bonus, the benefit of this drug is that it gives the person who's been infected superhuman strength and speed. Because their body, the way it's reacting, the brain is breaking. It also makes them highly susceptible to orders and suggestion. They begin to lose their free will, their sense of free will. Of course, <laughs> the consequence of it is the consuming of human meat. So the taste beneath sets us up. We meet our main villain, the Admiral. We meet our main protagonist and his vineyard of survivors, Ryan, and all hell breaks loose. And then, <laughs> in Diseased Intentions, our cast of characters expands somewhat. We begin to realize that there is an attempted government out there in the world and they are trying to bring people together and restore some sense of the prior world, some semblance of structure and sanity. But of course, it wouldn't be a story without conflict, and so... <laughs> We have some more attacks from Admiral and his people. At this point, our protagonist, Ryan, he's lost some people. His faith in humanity is gone, and he is just, he's done some terrible things in order to help his people survive. He doesn't regret doing those terrible things, but they are taking a toll on his mind and his soul. So that's where the second book leaves us. Which brings us to Insidious Valor, which is a continuation. Now there's hope. There's a chance that maybe this new government system has cornered Admiral and his people and they're going to swoop in and they're hoping to just end things once and for all. But there's a lot of subterfuge going on and nothing is as simple as it should be. This book focuses a lot more on the characters, the newer characters that are introduced in the second book. We focus more on different locations, which is nice. It has expanded our world somewhat. And when we do focus on our main protagonist, Ryan, we just, we see how much everything he's been through has taken from him. He is at the brink. At one point, someone in this book describes him as someone who's broken and ready to crack. So this guy's a loose cannon just waiting for that spark. 
<laughs> just waiting. And so the tension continues to build, our characters continue to develop, and everything about this book is exciting. I highly, highly recommend checking it out. This whole series is great. If you haven't read the first two books, definitely get your hands on them as well. I think get number three. <laughs> I love it. Uh, check it out guys. Really good book. Again, it's released on September 10th and pre-orders are available. Get your copy. It's super exciting. All right. I'd love to hear from you. Has anyone else read any of these books yet? If so, what were your thoughts? That's all I got. As always, happy reading.